Hello, and welcome to Esther's Gardening Adventures. I'm Esther. I have a confession to make. I, this year, started off my garden season by moving my compost bin to a closer spot to the house on the other side of the fence. I'll, I'll link to that video. And my intention was to flip the compost like you're supposed to do like weekly or every other week to water it to add in sort of compost helper um, granules and to be like super proactive on it but i literally have not touched it other than adding to it all season so i'm a little bit nervous but curious as to how it's doing and i'm going to take you along with me today the reason I'm looking now is because it's the time of year where I need to start adding um, compost and other things to my garden beds. One, because I'm gonna be adding some garlic and other fall crops to them. And also it's just a good idea for the health of your garden to sort of add those things on that are sort of slow release at the beginning of the fall. So in the spring, the beds are kind of fully ready to have stuff planted. You can also add it in the spring, but the compost isn't gonna do much once it starts getting cold anyway. So this is a good time to check. Anyway, so let me take you outside and we will discover together whether I have any compost or whether I just have a bunch of layered yard and, and garden and food <laughs> stuff that, and I know everything breaks down eventually, so I'm hoping I'll have at least something at the bottom. But uh, yeah, we're about to find out together. Let's go see. Before I open it up, here's a quick look at what it looks like from the top and as far as how high it is so the part I see is probably okay it goes up to about my forearm so it's probably like half the way up but it obviously hasn't been packed down yet so we will see what's inside So upon looking at it in initially, it appears that my concern that we'd have a lot of layers is uh, true. It doesn't look like a lot has broken down. Let me get in there with the shovel and see if we have anything at the bottom. The rest of this looks like it's mostly broken down from the summer. I do see some eggshells, but we already know that those take a little bit longer to break down. And uh, let's see, it's not broken down into a fine thing. It's sort of chunky, but you know what? I think if I put it in as a top layer, my beds this fall, I should still get, it should still be beneficial to the bed. Here's a shovel full. It definitely still has parts you can see in it, so it's not all broken down. But I'd say for not having done anything, it's actually pretty successful. Like, oh, that's part of the shovel. But I think this could be good. All in all, I think my concern has been <laughs> validated that you really can't neglect your compost pile all year long and expect fabulous results, right? I did get, obviously, a very little bit at the bottom that hopefully will break down a little bit more once I put it on the beds. But I definitely think I need to be more proactive next year if I really wanna get good compost out of this. The other thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to potentially move the place where I make my compost to a slightly sunnier area. I really don't have space in the front yard, which is the full sun area, but I can move it to a, a spot in the backyard that uh, has at least several hours of direct sun that mulberry tree really has branched out and filled out since I first started that compost bin there. And so it just really isn't a good place to have it get enough heat and enough sun to really help break things down either. Obviously, 
Composting is not my top priority for gardening, but it is an important component of having a healthy garden and being self-sustaining on materials. So it's something I want to continue pursuing and maybe I can make it a slightly <laughs> higher priority next year in that I can actually like do something with it at least monthly, if not bi-weekly. If you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button. If you aren't already a subscriber, please consider doing so. And otherwise, I'll see you next time.